hello students how are you all i hope you all are fine and i also hope that you all are studying at home so today we are going to study about social science in social science today we will study history chapter 1 when where and how in part 1 we had studied about timeline glimpses of the past impact of the geographical features on indian history and major historical developments during the medieval period in part 2 we are going to study about sources of medieval history historian depends on a variety of sources to learn about the past so student historians are the people or a person who studies history for medieval period there are two main sources one is archaeological sources and the second one is literary sources so today we are going to study about archaeological sources archaeological sources can be classified into four various types epigraphic evidences which means inscriptions numismatic evidences which means coins buildings and sculptures and the fourth one is artistic evidences which means paintings so we will study first about inscriptions the study of inscriptions or epigraphs is known as epigraphy epigraphs are writings engraved on hard surfaces the inscriptions were written in various languages and scripts in the ancient period epigraphy was made on cave walls rocks stone pillars etc later on it was also done on copper plates these inscriptions give brief details of temples or statues or long texts in the form of poems written in praise of kings here we can see the pictures of inscriptions now moving forward to the next archaeological source that is numismatic evidences also the study of coins we can also say it is the study of coins coins were the currency used by the rulers in the medieval period as it was easy to engrave anything on them the study of coins is called numismatic the coins generally convey the message and the name of the rulers who issued them the dates of issue help historians to clarify any doubt about the events most of the coins were issued by the sultans of delhi the mughal kings and the chola rulers here in this presentation or in this slide we can see coins of mughal a silver coin of rajendra chola and coin of delhi sultanate now moving forward to the third archaeological sources that is paintings it is also known as artistic evidences paintings are very important sources of medieval period they tell us about the customs and rulers of that particular period they also tell us about the social political life of that period these are the paintings from medieval period the first painting depicts mughal sultan traveling in a royal boat and in the second painting we can see it is a miniature painting of medieval india the fourth source that is 
monuments and buildings monuments include temples mosques forts tombs etc they not only tell us about the religious practices but also about the society architecture and economic and political conditions of that period some of the most famous monuments are the taj mahal in agra red fort in delhi and several temples in the southern part of india in this slide we can see taj mahal red fort and south indian temples in medieval period so i hope students you all have understood this concept so students today's homework is you all have to prepare a scrapbook of 10 pages with picture of monuments and building built during medieval period and you also have to write information about it you can take help of your parents thank you